just one day while she was working, we just started talking about art and it, it just all came out. And I was like, I haven't talked to you in so long. Like, I, crazy. But just through like working on art and letting things happen and just being open and creating that safe environment. I think that's a huge part. Art creates that safe environment. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do studio tour videos where I just I show you what I'm working on. There's lots of other topics, but I do art videos uh, once a week. Another story is also with a group of high schoolers. Uh, when I was a Young Life leader, I volunteered in the art room at one of the local high schools, and there was a group of kids. I love the art room dynamic. I always have, like, even in high school, I I loved the like the punk, the attitude. Like, I just I like that. There's this group of I think six kids that all sat at one end of a table and didn't really talk, didn't socialize, didn't follow directions, would leave class early, would skip class, would plan things to go do after school that were not appropriate things, and um. The, about six months though, these kids would not talk to me. They wouldn't say hello. They wouldn't do anything. They're like, there's a strange woman in our class. What is she doing? And eventually they would start to say hello and, and open up. And after two years of volunteering fairly regularly in the classroom, the one boy, actually one girl told me a lot about her life. And, and like just one day while she was working, we just started talking about art and it, it just all came out. And I was like, I haven't talked to you in so long. Like, I'm crazy. But just through like working on art and letting things happen and just being open and creating that safe environment. I think that's a huge part. Art creates that safe environment. But anyways, back to the other boy. He, we were able to have conversations about respect and kind of analyze respect and also hope and goodness through our mutual love of comic books and graffiti. And so using these things as symbols to have those conversations, like it's just, I think it's such a beautiful, non-threatening way to talk about deeper subjects, deeper topics with people in, um, and this was in high school too, like, so being able to go into a high school and just talk to kids about respect and good, good versus bad, like right and wrong, like what, what are you doing? And having that opportunity to really um, have those conversations that like teachers can't have with each, with each student, especially the students that don't want to talk to an authority figure, don't want to talk to an adult, but, but will open up to the random girl who comes in and volunteers once every other week or so. So that was just a really neat story as well. I'm not an art therapist or anything, but I, I do believe and I have seen that art can have those therapeutic uh, results and break down boundaries and walls that are only blocking and like hurting us. I hope that this video is inspiring and encouraging. If you liked it, comment below, thumbs up, um, but also comment with each other. Talk to each other about um, do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you disagree with what I'm saying? Thanks, guys. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe. I do make art videos primarily. Thanks, guys, and I will see you later.